Well, morning. Good morning from home, sunny <laughs> Northamptonshire. Yay. It's a balmy 20 degrees here. Who <laughs> needs the Mediterranean? <laughs> um, so, this is our final vlog in our MSC Harmonia series, and um, we'll just go over the, our final day and our um, a disembarkation and some overall thoughts of, of our experiences. So, our final day started, well, we got up late, didn't we? We were looking we did, at our yeah. phones, weren't we? Because we had that fantastic sunset over Mount Etna as we sailed out of Messina. That and was absolutely gorgeous, was that, wasn't it? Absolutely stunning. Mm. Views across the volcano as we sailed past out of Messina. It was, that was yeah. stunning. And then it was a, it was a pretty much a, a lazy sea day. We had that briefing in the morning about disembarkation procedures in Venice. And it did appear that this embarkation was going to be a bit more complicated than we originally thought. <laughs> no surprise there. Because the ships now uh, dock in Marghera, not the old Venice cruise port. And what that meant was there was a sort of a 35 to 45 minute sort of tender journey from the Marghera port to the old cruise dock, where then you go through immigration and all that kind of stuff. Um, but at that stage, we still didn't know what our disembarkation time was going to be. Uh, they were going to give us that on a letter through the door later in the day. So we still weren't sure at that stage whether the Venice thing was on or off. Um, but we went away, and, went away and tried to make the most of our final sea day. We had a bit of food, a few cocktails. Um, I, st I was still on the mocktails. You were still on the mocktails, yeah. weren't you? Because of the lurgy, right? yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, we played some table football. <laughs> yeah, and he won every time. I don't think I won at all. No, I didn't win at all. I think, I think you came close on an occasion. Oh, once, yeah, close. Close. That was it. Um, that was a bit of a laugh. And that, that was a bit of fun. I mean, that's the thing, you know. You just, there is stuff to do on the ship. You can, even yeah. if you run out of things to There's read. Plenty of stuff. There's the table tennis as well, wasn't there? Yeah, There's yeah. the basketball courts at the top, wasn't there? The, yeah, you know. And the, yeah, the ship does cater for kids mm. uh, and big kids as well. <laughs> so, um, but that was nice. Then obviously in the afternoon we had to pack our bags and everything and it was late afternoon we got the little thing through the door saying um what time we would disembark mm. now unfortunately <laughs> uh, uh that we paid for our bags to be transported to venice didn't seem to influence disembarkation uh times at all and we were fairly late off and it became very clear at that stage that with our mid-afternoon flight uh, wasn't going to work we just uh, weren't going to do it were we no. no. So we did try and get our money back for our baggage um, transfer to the airport, but MSC said we were too late and that that money was lost. So that was a little bit of an annoyance there. They said we could still pick our bag up as normal and we didn't have to go and, and do yeah. the transfer, but we uh, you know, we just wouldn't get the money back. We wouldn't get, sad, wasn't wouldn't it? get a but refund. So we kind of felt we'd go. been sold a pup there. Mm. Um, and as we've said in previous vlogs, they didn't really seem to know much about how this <laughs> service worked in any case. And then when they finally... <laughs> were able to say whether we, it would work for us or not. We'd already given them the money and it was too late and you're not going to get your money back. So no. that was a bit, bit of a... And it doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, but on the... on the It just means we'll have to go back to Venice on a separate time, won't we? And, yeah. and explore Venice. I, I did actually enjoy when we were on the, um, the boat going out... Yeah. Um, that was quite nice, wasn't it? A nice trip going yeah, out and sitting it, around. On our final evening, though, you took mm. a show in, didn't you? I was, I was starting to yeah. succumb to this lurgy that had been going around. You so then, didn't you? We <laughs> packed our cases and I decided I'd get 40 winks and yeah. um, I got my head down. But you went and saw that I show. I pushed myself. I wasn't feeling great, but I did push myself because I thought, it's the last show and the shows, yeah. they are very good, the shows. You enjoyed the shows, mm. didn't you? you thought I thought the shows they were, were really very good because they, they had all these, um, these five Ghana chats that, did all the um, acrobats yeah. and stuff, and they were amazing. Yeah, you said they were really talented guys, really, didn't you? Really, really good, yeah, yes. Yeah, so. And then there's the, the, the girl that does all the hoops and the aerials. And she didn't do aerials on this last show, but she did really lovely hoop work. And, yeah, you've enjoyed you know, that. Yeah, you? really good singing and dancing. They had the usual um, ballroom dancers as well. Really, I really enjoyed the shows. So, uh, as we mentioned then, so that was that. And an early night, up in the following morning, and then... Um, we're disembarking and uh, we had to wait till late morning to get off and then it was quite an elaborate process because the Marghera uh, cruise dock is a commercial container port effectively they then put you onto a tender and then you go across the lagoon to the old Venice cruise dock and it's about 35-40 minutes in the tender boat it's quite a nice journey although you do go past the old smelly refinery um, <laughs> it was but nice being out on the boat it was nice being we out went out on the, the top as we well the top, so it was yeah. 
Yeah. And then, nice. and then, you know, obviously we were, it was very apparent then we weren't going to get into Venice. And so we just picked our bags, uh, got ourselves a cab. It's 45 euros in a cab. Uh, it's a fixed fare. From you the, went to have a look to find out how much it was going to be for the, um, the sea taxi, didn't you? The water taxi we oh, thought might have been nice. God. That was very expensive. How expensive it? was it? Was that 160? 160 yeah. euros to get the sea taxi and the water taxi. <laughs> And the lady did say, try a cab, she said, it's cheaper. Go over there, you'll save lots of money, she said. So, and it was a lot more. Anyway, it's 45 euros fixed there to yeah. Venice Airport. And then, we, you know, we had a bite to eat the airport. And then we were soon up in the sky, whizzing back to, to Gatwick. And we made our way home. And, and that was it. That was our that was our MSC Armonia experience done and yeah. dusted. And, and it was a weird week, wasn't it? Very strange, yes. Very different to what we're normally yeah, and not doing. What... And also very different to what we expected because it was supposed to be a full-on cruise, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and, you know, let's not forget the fact that this was a real cheap cruise at the end of the day. You know, we paid £259 oh, per person exactly. cruise fare. You wouldn't even get that. that for a hotel, would you? No, you it's an incredibly cheap hotel. cruise. And I think, you know, What's our overall impression? I think if, if the cruise had gone to plan, hmm. yeah, we'd have been sat here today going, wow, that was like the best value ever. You know, we've been to Rome, we've been to Jacquio, we've been to Dubrovnik. Of course, it didn't manifest that way <laughs> because of the incident with the Bolivian yeah. passengers. And that can't be helped, can it? And it's, you know. The, that incident, you kind of do feel sorry for MSC in some ways, but they didn't help themselves in other ways, you know, so. I think the things, some one of the things that they've really got to work on really is actually um, letting people know and, you know, people keeping people informed and stuff, but they just, they didn't know themselves, obviously, so they need to inform their staff, don't they? Yeah, the staff were as much in the so dark the as staff, the passengers, yeah. and uh, it was the press that seemed to be on the front foot, and, you know, people People were getting inf more information out of the local Barcelona press. And that's press. embarrassing for them, really, that, the, yeah. you know, the press know more than the actual staff. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. So I, we were saying MSC didn't really shine there, uh, and, and passengers were kept in the dark. But, you know, the incident itself, you kind of do feel sorry for them because the Spanish authorities, you know, did treat this in a, in a particularly unusual way. Um, that was quite uh, punitive for, for MSC, and it's mm. sure it's cost them a lot of money. In terms of the compensation side of things, we obviously had letters through the door. We had another letter on disembarkation day saying that they would also reimburse the cost of our drinks package. My yeah, which is good. Which is great, yeah. yeah. My, my experience since coming back has been not so good in terms of I've contacted the MSC contact centre. They've told me to send emails and copies of the letters that I've received in. I've got a holding email back from MSC that basically says they're aware that we were given letters on the ship. They're still awaiting a head office decision on what co the compensation arrangement will be and they will contact us in due course. Now that isn't as positive as the letters were because the letters have promised us compensation whereas this holding email doesn't seem to say what the conversation will know. be <laughs> yeah and again it's, it's very typical of msc is the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing um, and everybody's in the dark and, and it kind of still feels that we're in that situation mm. so um yeah that, that's that but i think you know going back to where we started it was really cheap and if the cruise had gone to plan we'd have been sat here going wow 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 what an amazing the week. thing was it's like we had a few issues with the food um especially you with it like being cold and well, well and actually, there was that meal been, that meal on the time. final night we can't oh we that can't was admit that appalling that, that, that was, wasn't yeah, it? So, that was like so bad we went in the main dining room and <laughs> We got a lovely menu and all that. It sounds really. It sounded amazing, wasn't was it? it? Braised beef rib with mousseline potato. Red, it was in a red wine sauce. Yeah, in a red wine sauce. Mousseline with, potato with broccoli. And, yeah, it, was oh, awesome. it sounded amazing. It sounded anyway. amazing. Yeah. Anyway, what was served up was inedible. And, uh, well, the the rib the rib didn't actually have any meat on it. Uh, you know, you it was could, just it, all it was gristle. Enough, enough meat in, to fill a teaspoon, probably. It was mainly gristle. Both of us. You think you'd let off one, but both of us. Both had bills. It. Yeah, and then the sauce didn't taste like a red wine. It was oxtail soup. That's what you. Yeah. <laughs> and the cold oxtail soup. Mr. That. Potato <laughs> with mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you food, couldn't make it up. And I think, you know, that, 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 laugh, laugh at the side. Yeah. I mean, yes, um, before anybody comments, yes, we did send it back. Um, but, um, and we didn't want any more. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> really more either. You know, we'll just go for the. Did ask. We'll just go back it, to the pizza. The pizza's fine. It wasn't. Know. It wasn't um, fair on the person that was serving it because he was really good, wasn't yeah, he? he? Was. He and was. he said, "Do you want me to get you something more?" But yeah, we're dead enough. We we <laughs> yeah, just go out to the pizza. The pizza's edible. You know. But what I was trying to say was. Um, on a, like a normal cruise for us, if we had gone there and found that the, we didn't really like the food there, we would, every time we got off on a stop, we would go and eat out and try like, the, um, the sort of the local cuisine because that's what we like. But obviously that, that cruise didn't actually work like that. No. So we were on, on board all the time. So yeah, we didn't get yeah. an and option, the, uh, did we? For the money, you're not <laughs> expecting, you know, exquisite dining or anything like no. that, you know. And I, I get a guess if, as Annette said, you know, if, if we'd have been ashore, we'd have just eaten ashore. That'd be not a problem. Nobody batted no. an eyelid. You just put it down on one of those things, and we still and got I think a good we were deal. Little, probably a bit more grumpier than normal as well, because we were both came down with this lurgy. Yeah, the lurgy probably <laughs> didn't, didn't make help, us did feel, it? feel particularly bad. I mean, I didn't really, really succumb to it. Did a very, very last very night, and then obviously I've got worse to come yeah. home. But um, and then I'll, we're recording this about five days after we got home, because so I've been in bed for a couple of days. But, uh, <laughs> um, but. You know, at the end of the day, if, if we'd have gone to plan, we'd have been sat here saying, wow, that's amazing. And the yeah. food's crap, but hey, don't worry about that because you'll have a great time anyway because you've gone and done all these it ports. Is, yeah. Um, I think the fact that we were confined to ship and it just magnified mm. the issues with the food and the ship and, yeah. and everything else like that. But, you know, it's an experience. And we did get to spend time in Barcelona, which we loved, and we that will go good. back to Barcelona. I can't believe we've given that a wide berth for so long. We no. need to go back and do more Really there. nice. Messina yeah. was beautiful as well. Love Messina. And, you know, people have commented saying we should go to Tormina, and I still would love to go out there. And, and I think Sicily is somewhere mm. we will revisit, whether we visit for a holiday or whether we visit on another cruise stop. I'm not sure yet, but I think yeah. there's stuff there. I've seen enough to say, oh, I like it there. I mm. want to go back there. So, and this is why we do cruises. This is why you do mm. it, yeah. Still gutted we missed Rome and Ajaccio. Mm. Um, so, but hey, we'll get another opportunity. So, um, But so that was that. Um, overall then, a bit of a, you know, it was a cheap cruise. We came with low expectations and they were kind of barely met, I think, is the mm. overall thing. But lots of positives. Let's just shout out to Good Cabin. Oh, yeah. yeah. The cabin. It yeah. was, I really like the cabin. I like how I got space yeah. because to move around the bed. Because quite often I've been on cruise ships and the television is right by the side. So when I try and walk down the yeah. side that I go, I sleep on, I, I knock the television so, all the time. But no, the television good right cabin, back. It was really good. Well specced, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really it was well good. specced. And we got an upgrade yeah. as well for free for our yeah. tour. So we're not knocking that. That was really positive. Yeah. Um, and uh, great cocktails. Cocktails were awesome. Brilliant. Yeah, really especially good. margarita i think i've said before they were really really good cocktails <laughs> Fantastic, really yeah. good cocktails even the mocktails were amazing and although i had to live on it for six days the pizza was amazing so you know pizza. let's just shout out the positives mm. and the uh, carvery was very nice as oh well. you also like the carvery, the carvery yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah so that's that was that so thank you for joining us on our adventures with msc harmonia and we have more adventures coming up in may which you're looking forward to more Adventures, More adventures, yay. yeah, and uh, we're on Iona in May, so looking forward to that again. Yeah, and that's the way. biggest ship that we, we've ever done. That'll be it? the biggest ship yeah. we've ever done. So, anyway. so that'll be interesting. Once again, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Take care. Cheers. Bye. Bye. If you found this video helpful or have any comments to make on its content, please do so in the comments box below. If you really, really like it, why not hit like? And if you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. It really would mean a lot to us. Thank you.